Hi, I'm Dory DeCamillis from Red Dot Gallery. Today we're going to learn how to draw a Doric column. I'm going to start at the top and get it at an angle so it looks more interesting than straightforward. Um, the capital or the top of a Doric column is very simple compared to the Ionic and the Corinthian. It just has a little round piece right here. You want the angles at the top here to be the same. If they're not, it's not going to look proportional. It's going to look out of, out of perspective. And I think I'm a little out of perspective myself here. We're going to arch that a little more. The column will come straight down. And we can have these little round indentations that start rounded at the top and come down parallel. They're actually going to be a little thinner as they go out toward the edge because you are seeing them at an angle. And these ones up front, you're seeing from the front. So like I said, this one's a little thinner over here. I'm actually going to make these two a little taller so that they are in keeping with the arch that I have here. You can shade one side. If the light's coming from this side, you can shade the left side with some light shadows. This is actually coming from underneath, so we're going to have it be a little darker over to here. The round part of the capital is going to be shaded. It'll have a little reflected light over on this side because a little bit of light can come around that corner. And I can give a little bit of shading to the indentations. They're going to get less shading as they come over toward the light. I'm not going to give them quite as much. And then to make the lines a little more emphasized, I'm going to just go outline a little more, especially over on the dark side of the column. The light side doesn't need quite as strong a line because it doesn't have the shadows to compete with. And I could go make it a lot more detailed at the bottom, but the capital is what really shows you that it is a Doric column. And this is how we draw a Doric column. 